Hi, my name is Kevin Ricard, and uh, what I'm going to talk about right now is incorporating bongos and congas into a more contemporary setting, mixing them together, obviously uh, outside of the traditional setting, um, when you're playing maybe pop music or jazz or, you know, uh, any anything outside of more traditional salsa and Afro-Cuban music. Um, so... The first place that I always go when I want to understand how to incorporate these things into pop music is uh, Motown. Motown music from all the way to the early 60s through 70s and 80s. Uh, the percussion was featured very prominently and some of the stuff that those guys did basically influences everybody who plays percussion in pop music today. They were really genius in the way that they incorporated these rhythms and some of them used a little more traditional some guys came up with their own things and some of the combinations of things they came up with were amazing so that's a good place to start if you're really wanting to understand how percussion gets added to contemporary pop music so what i did at the beginning was like a combination of just a bunch of stuff uh actually using a little bit of a tr more traditional uh Afro-Cuban rhythm that's based from the bata drums and uh, and then just kind of more backbeat kind of stuff uh, backbeat bass kind of stuff so whenever you're approaching this stuff obviously don't think that you have to play straight traditional because sometimes that doesn't work sometimes it does the song may call for it but oftentimes it's a little too straight and rigid for the song. The song could be a little looser and you want to be able to incorporate those things and make the song work, you know, make this instrument work in that context, in that genre. So I'll play a little bit more of this stuff. Uh, I'll start with the kind of more traditional way I, I use this. And this is actually one of the rhythms from Cuba that kind of translates well into funk. Uh, and it's, you know, using both the, the bongos and the congas. So here, I'll play a little bit of that, and then um, and then I'll kind of show you a little other variations of it. So. Okay, so that's kind of more rooted in the traditional, but still loose and a little funky. Uh, and then, obviously, you can take that in many different directions. Uh, but I'll, I'll start with some other kind of variations and then uh, show you how you can incorporate the bongos in it. These are all at your creative discretion based on having studied and learned some of the traditions, but also learning pop music as well. Uh, I guess I could say that Afro-Cuban and salsa and Latin jazz were as influential in my upbringing as was James Brown, Motown, uh, Parliament Funkadelic. All those guys used percussion in an amazing way. And uh, those were equally impressive to me uh, because of the way that they approached the instrument. So I'll play a little bit more, just adding some colors and stuff. Um, So that's kind of just like a beginning approach to 
using all these uh, instruments together. I think once you get in your practice room in the studio, any number of ideas will come and you never know where it's going to take you. So be open to it, every, everything, and also listen and try and remember what you've done so that you can make it part of your repertoire for later in your career playing with different bands. 